Talk about the immediate impact on your program and the league when you learned in the fall of 2009 that the Great West was guaranteed an automatic bid to the 2010 CIT. Well, the immediate impact was knowing that we we're going to have a chance at postseason play. We thought we were going to have no situation with that, and once our conference got there, it was really a pretty big surprise to us and something that the kids really look forward to, knowing that at the end of the season you still have something to play for. Talk about the excitement level of the players, knowing they had something to play for. Was it something that was prevalent throughout the season? Oh, no question. Uh, it was certainly a goal of ours, knowing that if we could win that Great West and play in that postseason tournament and win that, that you're going to have an opportunity to play in something like that was really exciting for those kids and uh, you want to motivate your kids all through the year but when you have something like that that can really help you I think it helped in coaching and, and that we had uh, you know good preparation for it all year the excitement of our kids knowing that that was going to be there knowing that it was going to be very hard to get to we we're going to have to win the postseason tournament which is extremely hard to do especially after having a chance to win the conference. What was the feeling around the league when you spoke with other coaches and administrators? Well, we didn't have a lot of conversations because it was such a new league. We didn't know a lot of the people, but knowing Coach Jones and, and a couple of those people, everyone was excited about it. It's certainly an unexpected thing. Uh, we just had formed that league, so it was going to be a first-year league. And to get something like that available to us was really unheard of and, and something that caught us all by surprise. And that, But the excitement that I thought, knowing it through the whole year, just kept building and building. And as, as that conference tournament got nearer and nearer, I think it really became something that our, a big, big goal for our kids. Talk about being the top seed in the, in the inaugural Great West Tournament, knowing that you're playing for the rights to participate in the postseason. Well, you know, that, that conference was a small conference. There were only seven teams in it, so it was more of a, a sprint than a, in a marathon. We had to not stub our toes during it. We won a lot of close games and ended up winning that thing on the last weekend here at home. And, that, and then had to turn right around on a Saturday game and get to Utah and, and play in that tournament right away. So everything happened quick, but going into that, I think, you know, we came off a big win against Houston Baptist, gave us a lot of momentum, and knowing we were going to have some hard-fought games and those two games to, to reach the ultimate goal of our program of last year, that was uh, something that uh, I think our kids and our coaches are going to carry for a long time. Talk about rallying, rallying to beat Texas Pan American and overcoming adversity in the Great West Tourney. Well, I don't think we really overcame adversity. We knew it was going to be a tough game. We had the two previous games with them went right down to the wire. We were very fortunate to win at their place after trailing big in the first half and that. But a uh, tough game here at home. Uh, they, they matched up very well with us. They had some quick kids. They had some kids who could really shoot it and stuff. So going in, we just knew we were going to have to make plays throughout the whole thing. It was probably going to get into the last two or three minutes, which a lot of our games did last year. And, our kids just had a really good ability last year to finish off some games by making a clutch shot, making the free throws, getting a defensive stop, whatever we needed to do, they came through. So we just knew it was going to be that way, and, and certainly it played out that way. Describe the scene when the game was over and you were cutting down the nets. Well, those are special moments for coaches and players. You know, players, those are lasting memories. Uh, you know, as far as coaches go, you remember lots of your losses and stuff, and you, you don't remember all those good wins that you have in your, your time either. But those are big moments for kids, and, and uh, especially when you do it the way we did it. It wasn't a blowout game. It had to be a play made right at the end of that game again to do it. So those are things that are good vivid memories for you and, and the players are going to you know, bond that way and they're going to be lifetime friends because of situations like that and certainly gave, gave us some really great memories. Talk about playing at Creighton in the first round of the CIT. Well that was a big reward you know uh, where our program was at at this point in time with our transition and stuff just to, to get into the national tournament like the CBI which is so well run and, and first class all the way and to play a quality team like Creighton, which was close. It gave our fans a great chance to go see us play against a really quality opponent, just being two hours away, a very short turnaround to prepare for it. But we went in there, and I thought we played okay. It was a competitive game for a part of it, and, and, and it ended up being an 11-point loss for us. But we took a lot of things out of that. I think we can build our program a little bit because of it. I think it can help recruiting, and our fan base can see that we have a chance to compete at this level, and we just need to do a lot more things and keep learning about this whole process and that, but uh, we can't thank the CBI enough to, for the situation that they gave us and the opportunity they gave us, and it's something that I think our program is, is going to build our foundation on. It was a start for us and something we're going to have great, great memories of. Talk about the impact of the 2009-2010 season for the University of South Dakota. 
Well, you always want to build off your previous season, but it is the previous season. You have to put it in the past and move on. We, we certainly lose three really quality seniors that, that led us, and uh, one Tyler Kane who carried us on his back through a lot of games and stuff. So new team, new players, uh, may have a little bit different style with this group of kids, but certainly a, a confidence builder early in this process, knowing that we can go in there and compete a little bit. and. You know, you just keep trying to get good players in here and give them the confidence that they're going to need to play at this level.